Not only Sandy, but major rainstorms can leave Hoboken underwater. Some of the city's cast iron gas means date back decades. Now, 60 percent of it is set to be replaced. It's part of the State Board of Public Utilities approved $1.2 billion energy strong program. Hoboken isn't the only beneficiary of the project. Work is also underway today in Wayne. Excavating the street by backhoe or by hand, PSENG workers plan to lay 250 miles of new gas lines. 29 power substations are due to be raised or guarded against flooding. And power redundancies and new technology will also be installed. It's all an effort to prevent power from being knocked out for days or weeks on end in the future. We're expecting that once all these upgrades are done in the next few years that it will substantially help protect our grid uh, against the next big storm. Hillsdale, Little Falls, Rivervale, Springfield and Westwood are also on the utilities list. They'll be spanning almost 200 streets spread out over three counties. The towns where we're going to be replacing these gas mains are all towns that either suffered water damage due to Sandy or Hurricane Irene the year before. This is the new plastic pipe that PSENG is going to be installing all across the state in their territory. They say that it's more resilient to water pressure, which means it's less likely to give out in the event of a flood. Residents of this Wayne neighborhood say their street did not flood and they did not lose power during Irene or Sandy. But the other side of town is flood prone. One neighbor poked his head out his front door this morning to say he likes the idea of upgrades. I mean, if it's going to be an improvement, yeah, why not? The entire Energy Strong project is expected to take up to five years, and PSENG has said your bill is set to increase by $4. In Wayne, I'm Christy Duffy for NJTV News.